Over here. This requires a considerable amount of effort, so just listen. We have a problem here. Return to my office immediately. Ah, <sighs> so you come all the way out here to say go to your office. There's a shrine. Let's go and have a look at that shrine first. It's one thing I uh, haven't used much of is those um, shrines, I suppose. Ooh, I've seen one of these for a while. Like I say, a lot of people in Morrowind at the moment. So it's getting pretty well covered. We will be moving on to somewhere else. At some point. Let me see. On the hill. It's up there. So how do we get up there? Covered it apparently. Oh, it's up there. Look. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Got to be a way up to it. Is there a bridge? No. Okay. Maybe it's just the way I was trying to do it. I was looking for. There's like obelisk things that give you buffs or something around, which I probably run past most of the time when they're around. Okay. So we've got to get back to the office, which is all the way over there. So what we'll do is we'll not die. Nope. Good. <laughs> We're going to run through some of these little areas just to see if we can find any goodies. Like loot, or chests, or... Blog. <gasps> Get it before the bug sees me. Until we hit deep water, which will be probably now, no, I'm not. What is that? Dragon horn. I've never seen that before. Sounds cool, so I'm going to take it. I mean, if that's the first time I've seen it, then it might be rare. Unfortunately, it was only a simple one, so it's not going to be the best of the loot. But it's still a chest.
don't think you can go in it. No. Nope. It's going to be one of those unusable ones. Oh, hello. That's what we want. One of these. Need one more for, <clears throat> for another skill point. This is why it's worth, like I say, just exploring sometimes and not just following every quest, but actually just taking time out to run around a bit. Look. That might be a mission thing. No, my thing's still fine, obviously. Best way to lose aggro? Go swimming. See? Go on. mission or if this is a... Oh, it's a boss. In fact, it's a boss we've beaten. We must have been here before. I think I did actually run through here at one point. Okay, we don't have to worry about that then. Can I get on the horse yet? No. That's the trouble when I've got that... Um, minion with me or whatever they get into a fight and it stops you being able to get on your horse when they're fighting even if you're not and I haven't found a way to switch them off there must be a way you can despawn them but I've never actually spent the time to try and figure it out Ginseng tonic, eh? All blueprints. I think I might have that one. Let me have a look. Yeah, got that. any aggro. Um, these islands. Would anybody have gone on this island? I mean, the 
this stuff here, so. Some of these little islands, you've got to really go onto them because you, even if there's a chest sometimes on the beach, you won't see it necessarily until you got to get closer to it. Shadow. Might be a shadow. It's a big ass rock. It's a funny little patch over here. I'm just going to go check that out. Maybe nothing. Dead dude. Dead dude with nothing. Not even a satchel, nothing. No gold, nothing, no. Okay. Fine, we'll keep going. Right, we're gonna go back over there anyway, so we're here, yeah, yeah, not far away now. Rather they didn't make noise those things because they are um, well an ingredient but they have a sort of thing which means you can hear it. Yeah. Very big on these islands, they're sort of a, would anybody have made the effort? That's the question. Let's find out. Right, now if I remember rightly, it's the... not that one, it's the next one that we're coming up on. Any minute. Over here, I think. Or oh, I could be wrong. I might be wrong. He said he's off, you see. He is here. Ran straight past it. Did you see what's happening outside? 
Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. Soon I'll have to muster the ordinators to keep them from the palace doors. Is that the emergency? The people want to see Lord Vivek? In part. Lord Vivek is... not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy, and it's becoming difficult for him to maintain the realm in his usual fashion. Now, what did your investigations uncover? I investigated the three locations. Here's what I learned. I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. You should go see Lord Vivek now. He's been asking about you. I'll be along shortly. You're going to just read the notes. I thought we could discuss what I learned. Very well. Tell me what you learned at each of the locations, and let's see what conclusions we can come to. An Ashlander in Chola, Chodla has been inciting the tribes named. So your notes say... And this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Most Ashlanders want nothing to do with the Tribunal. Even so, they rarely become aggressive. I'd say this Chodala bears watching. If we can spare it, I'll send an armager to order him. Chodala's newfound power might have something to do with Vivek's problem. Interesting theory. Perhaps Chodala's staff can steal Vivek's energy. I have a hard time imagining how an Ashlander could accomplish such a feat. Lord Vivek said the draining has grown more intense since you left. It doesn't look well. Boz Barilzar told me about Sothasil's experiments with divine energy. He gave me this, or gave me his notes. Barilzar faithfully served Sothasil. He's as loyal to the tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. But that tool he mentioned. Perhaps one of the priests Vivek sent away could search the temple archives for more information. Vivek sent away all his priests. Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. Only you, Canon Levuel, and myself are permitted into his palace now. Speaking of the palace... Lord Vivek wants to see you when we're done here. Yes. Cultists took over the mine outside Balmora. From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the tool Barrelzal mentioned. And it seems the Ashlander themes are connected to Chodala. Your evidence points to a clear conclusion. Chodala is using Sunaraz to steal Vivek's divine energy. So it appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain, but I can see how much the draining of his energy has cost him. Just seeing you again should improve his mood considerably. And the progress you made with your investigations, outstanding. You're damn straight it is. Right, let's go and see Vivek. 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 If I can get out this door. Doors, tricky things, you know. Is it true they summoned Balre to defeat the Daggerfall army at Darwin's Watch? I demand you make way and let me see Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. No, I'm not a visitor. Just passing through. My Lord, please let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballot, there must be something I can do. You can call the Arch Cannon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. He's still floating there. Just about. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Hmm. Need some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy. And it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? 
I think that an Ashlander named Chodler may be responsible for your condition. An Ashlander? That seems unlikely. But I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodler and the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this. Another token of my appreciation. And look, here comes the Arch Cannon now. My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodler has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. So you know how to restore Lord Vivek's powers? Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution, one that probably involves Chodler's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothasil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. You want me to acquire the staff? Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodler is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldrin and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. I'll go talk to Saren. Get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodler and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Right, we're gonna go and see Siren again. Now where are you? On the side of the map? Yeah. Turn to over one. Mind you, we can use the faster way. Thank God for these way shrines. You can imagine without without them, it would take forever. Uh, where are they going? Up here somewhere. Yeah. 